Hey guys, it's Hunter and welcome back to another video. So how much orange tone does 500 bucks get you? Let's take a closer look at the Crush Pro 60 combo.
Before I'd even plugged in the Crush Pro 60 combo, I'd heard a lot of good things from forums, from online reviews, so my expectations for this amp were pretty high. The first thing you'll notice about this orange amp is, well, that it looks like an orange. I've always loved the styling of orange products. In an amp world dominated by black Tolex, that signature bright orange weaved vinyl is really refreshing, and it just makes me happy. Even though this is one of the more affordable amps in the lineup, the vintage style speaker grill cloth and the traditional hieroglyphics show that the company still regards this as very much a true orange product, not just an entry level solid state combo. When it comes to specs, the CR60C hits just about everything you'd want it to hit. It has two independent channels, clean and dirty, pretty self-explanatory. Each channel has separate EQ and volume controls. There's also a master control for the digital reverb with three separate voicings and a master volume knob to keep the levels bedroom, or in my case, apartment appropriate. All the controls are laid out on the top panel and I've always been a fan of Orange's tactical use of different sized knobs. The EQ knobs are smaller while reverb volume and gain knobs are much larger, the idea I guess being that you can quickly and easily identify which are which in a live situation. The power section boasts 60 watts, which is plenty to keep up with the drummer in a jam session. The back panel, or I guess down panel, seeing as it's inside the rear of the amp facing down, features send and receive jacks for the buffered effects loop, a foot switch jack, as well as two 16 ohm speaker outputs. In terms of weight, it comes in at about 45 pounds, which is pretty hefty for a solid state 112. But since the last combo I owned weighed about 60 and this handle is fairly robust, I found this orange to be quite portable. As for tones, I was quite impressed with the Crush Pro's cleans. Now for the clean channel, it only has volume, bass, and treble controls. So without a knob for the mids, I thought there might be some trouble dialing it in. Nope, not the case. It's warm and clear on lower volumes and pushed into the second gain stage, it breaks into a light overdrive. It might be a little dark for some people's tastes, but that's where this, orange compressor comes in. Quick cutaway to the orange compressor. I really like it. No idea how to make a full video on a compressor pedal, so here's a quick playthrough so you can hear what it does. So yeah, it compresses. Really useful if you're like me and your clean playing isn't as consistent as it should be. It can also be used as a transparent clean boost, but in this case, it's the chime control that adds that extra bit of high-end jangle, that's the word they use on the website, to really make the cleans shine. The artwork is also very cool, featuring images of Jane, Kong's fist, and various British landmarks to remind you of the pedal's heritage. It also has the signature orange mini handle, which is a very nice touch. This pedal is really, really impressive and added something to my cleans that I didn't even know that I was missing. Like, it's so good, I've been using it on my own board. Okay, now back to the amp. So the cleans are good, even better with the Kong presser, but what about the dirty channel? Well, that's a little more complicated. Now the Dirty Channel has four gain stages giving you a wide range of available tones. There is an impressive amount of gain on tap and it has that signature orange fuzziness to it. That being said, I actually kind of struggled getting a good recorded tone out of it, at least for the heavy stuff. I tried a whole bunch of different things, various mic placements, using a tube screamer, plugging into my Mesa 2x12 cab with vintage 30s, but it always seemed to come out either a little thin and fizzy using the stock Voice of the World speaker, or a little boomy with the Celestians. So actually what you heard in the demo song for the distorted rhythms is a quad track combination of the two. 
and I think that sounds pretty good. The two combine well for a much fuller sound while still sounding very orangey. So it is possible to get good recorded high gain tones out of the CR60, it just took a little more work than I was expecting, which surprised me seeing how easy it was to dial in the orange OR15 I demoed a few weeks back. So by itself, with the stock speaker, I have my reservations about this amp, but where I think it's useful is in a two guitar setting. It sits in a different space than most other amps, and it adds a little something on top in the mix. And for a practice or casual jam session, the CR60C is pretty tempting for its power, portability, and versatility. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the amp, so leave them in the comments, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to the Orange team for making it available, and to Pad for mixing the demo track. Links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome. This is the Orange Crush Pro 60 Combo, and I will see you for the next video.